Hi there and welcome to a macro video looking at some of the key factors influencing business capital investment. Uh, this is a, an important part of your macroeconomic course in particular if you've been studying the circular flow and also the components of aggregate demand. So what is investment? Well investment is spending on capital goods uh, such as plants, factories, machinery and equipment. They're useful not in themselves necessarily but for the goods and the services the other goods and services they can help supply in the future uh, so lots of examples of investment here on the slide robotics in car manufacturing huge integrated plant for example in the brewing industry or the food processing sector machine tools used in heavy and light industry key infrastructure such as power and transport uh, will be counted as investment and so too the software that goes with hardware and the investment in trucks and container ships and much else besides in the logistics sector. Investment is spending on producer or capital goods. We make an important distinction between gross investment and net investment. So gross just means total. It's the total amount of spending each year uh, by businesses on new capital goods, new capital inputs. Okay. A net investment uh, is gross investment minus capital consumption or sometimes known as capital depreciation. You see every year uh, some new investment is required just to replace perhaps some worn out machinery or some tools or other forms of capital equipment that have become technologically obsolete. So we take the figure for gross investment, we take off an estimate for capital consumption to get a figure for net investment and essentially net investment is the change in the size of a business's or the economy's capital stock from year to year. There are many factors influencing investment and a good essay will highlight uh, certainly two or three of them and then start to explain them in more detail. Here are four, uh, top left reading from left to right, actual and expected demand for goods and services is perhaps the dominant factor because businesses that are looking to make a profit, achieve increased market share, will be hoping to invest to utilize the growing demand for their goods and services. Investment is also driven by the expected rate of profit, expected rate of return on capital, and also the tax on those profits, in the case of the UK, something like corporation tax. Investment fundamentally is driven also by the state of business confidence or pessimism otherwise known as Keynesian animal spirits. And the planned investment of a business could be a small firm, it could be a large manufacturing enterprise, can also be affected by the level of interest rates, the cost of borrowing money, the cost of financing an investment project. Typically when interest rates go up, planned investment may take a dip. I said that expected demand growth is, is a really key variable. Uh, typically in industries where demand growth is pretty strong, a lot of firms will be looking to ramp up, lift their investment spending in order to create some extra supply side or productive capacity. Here are three examples at the moment. 5G broadband suppliers and cloud computing services are all looking to increase the capacity as demand increases. Likewise, investment is surging in renewable energy, in particular in solar and wind power. And as we know, there's been a potential increase in growth in demand for electric vehicles, including uh, cars and things and e-bikes. And so those manufacturers are having to invest not just in the capacity to produce the cars and the vehicles, but also in the charging point infrastructure needed as well. So actual and expected demand is a key factor. Just make sure you have a good example to hand for your essays and your exams. Investment in the UK is quite volatile from quarter to quarter. This chart shows the percentage change. Can you see in 2008, 2009, the effects of recession? There were significant quarterly falls in investment most of the time. And then investment recovered a little bit, but in, in recent times, actually in sort of four of the last five quarters, actually, investment's gone down. So one of the key issues just to be aware of in 2019, as we head into 2020, is that business investment in the UK is likely to slow down, perhaps even fall next year. And lots of newspaper headlines. Here's one from a couple of days ago. The UK economy faces heightened risk of recession. 
And of course, that can have a damaging effect on business confidence, which again is a key factor influencing investment. Here's a, an article uh, from Friday the 4th of October from Sky News saying there's been a survey about the service sector, hinting that the service sector is actually declining. Um, companies not buying as many inputs and raw materials. And uh, that uncertainty could well be a lagged, a sagging factor on planned investment. Indeed, uh, this is just again worth thinking about for a couple of minutes. There are many factors actually influencing business confidence at the moment. Some of them are positive. Unemployment is low. Uh, consumer spending seems to be fairly resilient at the moment. But here are some of the negatives, if you like. There's a lot of uncertainty clearly over Brexit. Where next for the UK's relationship um, with the European Union? Huge uncertainty, both political and economic. Growing fears over the impact of global trade tensions, including the tariff war between the United States and China. There are growing signs of recession in Germany, which is Europe's biggest economy. Many UK firms, of course, sell to the to the German economy. Uh, what, what's the future for wage costs going forward, particularly as labour shortages increase? Will that, will that act, act as a kickstart to investment? And again, there's uncertainty politically about where, the, where next for business taxation, for example. If there's a Brexit deal, will the UK government then decide to cut corporation tax perhaps for manufacturing firms or other businesses in a bid to attract more investment. So many uncertainties, and that in itself, of course, is a factor um, impact on investment. Here's my final slide. Thanks for making it this far. Here is a, here's a list of six key, I think, key investment demand factors. The growth of demand, the cost of borrowing money to fund that investment, the state of business confidence or pessimism, otherwise known as animal spirits, the rate of corporation tax, particularly on company profits. Inflation expectations also matter. Firms think that there's going to be higher costs that could damage inflation uh, investment expectations. If they think, for example, there could be deflation, that again could hit their investment plans. And finally, something that's pretty much independent of the cycle, the pace of technological change and the strength the intensity of international competition. Oftentimes, new technologies uh, increase the rate at which companies have to replace their capital stock. Because if you don't invest in those new technologies and harness them, uh, you can bet your last dollar that other companies, both home and overseas, will be doing likewise. So when the pace of technology is changing quickly, often that, that acts as a catalyst for more investment. So those are some of the key factors that may be worth adding to your class notes. There we go, a quick video looking at factors influencing business capital investment.